It's time for some Friday Night Lights. We've got Tom Gamble from In Game Sports here to talk about the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown presented by Mercy Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine and Meyer. How did last week's match go with Moeller and LaSalle? Nick, I should just record you saying that, and I can just play it over the PA and each showdown. <laughs> I'd be happy now, to do that for you. Real, it was a great – I mean, LaSalle took a 7 nothing lead, but Noah Gesselbrock, the Moeller senior quarterback, threw three TD passes, and Moeller wound up winning 28-14, to handing LaSalle its first official loss. And i got to tell you, Moeller's got some skill players – and this Moeller team now is off to a five and one start, which All is right. since 2018 when they started uh, six and one and, and won the GCL South. This is a good Moeller team. Mark Elder in the second year has done an outstanding job. So, yeah. Now tonight, speaking of the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown, a little SWAC action. So it's Talawanda at Ross. It's the little you know rivalry up there. And uh, Ross, it's their homecoming, and they do the old fashioned homecoming. Man, they got floats and the parade and all oh, that stuff they moving around. Also plays pretty good football. They're five and one. They went lost to Alter after winning three playoff games a year ago. Kenyon Cummins has done a great job there. They don't throw the ball much. Really, neither does Talawanda. So uh, get there on time. Kickoff is seven thirty at X Town Showdown with all the details. But uh, it should be a, a good game in the SWAC, and, and, and I expect Ross to put on it a usual performance. But Talawanda, you know how those rivalry games can be. So we'll see what happens. Lots of emotion up there for that one. What are some of the other big matchups that are happening tonight and throughout the weekend? Well, there's a lot of good games. We'll start with Elder Moeller Saturday at the pit, 4 p.m. I'll tell you why the pit doesn't look the way it normally does today momentarily, but we'll wait on that. Louisville Trinity at St. Xavier. How about Trinity is winless, 0-6. St. X hasn't lost, 6-0, the number one team, D1 in Ohio. Indianapolis Cathedral, they're unbeaten, 6-0. They come to take on LaSalle, so it's a brutal schedule for LaSalle. Interesting game here. Lakota East unbeaten in the GMC so far as at Cole Rain, which lost two and now has won four in a row. Wenton Woods at Anderson, Little Miami at Mill for a couple ECC matchups. Nick, I got to get your alma mater in there. They're really good. Baden takes on Kettering Alter at yeah. Wood. How about this one out east? Western Brown at Clinton Hyphen Massey. Western Brown having a great year. Clinton Massey always tough. And then you go south of the river. Beachwood just continues to roll. I've said all along, I think they're the best team all class in Northern Kentucky. But they're at Dixie Heights. That's another good rival game. Dixie's coming off a win over Highlands. Speaking of Highlands, they'll be back in Fort Thomas hosting Connor. This is an interesting one. Louisville St. X, which beat Elder a couple of weeks ago. So they're at Ryle. Ryle's only lost this year by three to Lexington Catholic. And be remiss if I didn't mention in Southeast Indiana, East Central only lost to Moeller. Lawrenceburg only lost to East Central. These teams just seem to roll every year, and this year is no exception. I expect them to be going full speed ahead. And I'd be remiss. We're doing something in the Greater Catholic League South Division. We have a kind of – it's called Tackle Hunger. It's to benefit – St. Vincent de Paul, they do a lot of great work to feed needy families in greater Cincinnati in this area. Teaming up with the GCL South and Skyline Chile at the Elder Moeller game tomorrow and next Friday, LaSalle at St. X. I want to encourage anybody attending those games, bring a can, good non-perishable food item, something that people can use. Bring multiple if you can. It'll go to people right here in need. And you'll get a coupon good for a free cheese cone at participating Skyline Chili restaurants just for bringing some non-perishable food items. So I love good chance that. To help people. Well, you know, since COVID, Bridget, I mean, it's, you know, there's still a heck of a lot of people in need. So this is one way we as yes. a league and St. Vincent de Paul does such great work and Skyline jump on board. So Yeah, no, thanks anybody. to Skyline for, you know, ponying up the cheese coney. That's awesome. Yeah, so Elder Moeller tomorrow and LaSalle St. X next Friday. Now, you had mentioned that the pit is looking a little different, at least for a little bit or right now. Uh, you were in attendance of a, a concert out yeah. there, right? Well, I got to be honest with you. They're probably there working with lights. Uh, yeah. Because they got to turn this thing around. I mean, this was the fourth time this concert. It was to benefit Kyle Rudolph's foundation, ex sure. elder alum, NFL guy with the Giants, Darius Rucker, who they're friends, and Darius Rucker, former frontman of Hootie and the Blowfish, the Bronson Arroyo Band, was the opening act. Marty Brenham and introduced them. They had a concert sold out last night at the pit. First time anything like this has happened. They covered the entire playing surface, packed stadium. I got to tell you, it was extremely cool. I mean, kudos to them. The Pitt's known as one of the top ten venues to watch high school football in. It might become a concert venue. People at Elder are probably going, oh, gosh, no, that's not. But I'm telling you, it was a great night, and they did a bang-up job. Uh, kudos to Elder High School and, and everybody involved with that because it was an outstanding show. People had a great time. And, you know, the last song Darius Rucker said, Kyle Rudolph asked me to play one more, and, of course, for Elder – 
he played Purple Rain. <laughs> That's I pretty cool. I love that. Yeah. No, that was pretty cool. It really was. Yeah, I'm glad that it finally came to fruition. Like you said, I remember the announcement. I mean, it seems like eons ago that it was going to happen. I'm glad that it finally did. It did, and I got to tell you, Bronson Arroyo's band, he played a couple original tunes, too, and they do a lot of covers, and that's known, but it, it, he sounds really good. I mean, it's I was very impressed. That's the first time I've ever heard him do a set, but no, it was pretty cool, and I actually got to attend that and get home in time to see the Bengals, the rousing second half to hand Jacksonville its 19th consecutive loss. So yeah. Joe Burrow outdueling Trevor Lawrence, the number one overall pick, and C.J. Uzama, you know, look, the Bengals have beat three teams that have won a combined two games. I mean, let, let you know, but they're winning. I mean, they're three and one. You look at their upcoming schedule. They've got the Packers. That'll be a zoo next Sunday coming to Paul Brown Stadium. Then three straight road games, two of which are you know really winnable at the Lions, at the Ravens, at the Jets. So uh, I'll take three and one. I mean, if somebody had said, well, you take the Bengals three and one, if you're a Bengals fan, you'd have said, absolutely. Heck yeah. Uh, it was a great night last night. They clawed their way back to victory. Looking forward to another big game, UC taking on Notre Dame out in South Bend, and that one looking for a big victory for UC. Could be the biggest win in school history. Well, it's I would say it's the biggest regular season game in school history, and Brian Kelly, you know, UC fans don't like him to start with, right? right? And then he made that kind of that comment, you know, about how, you know, I figured, you know, UC kind of earned this, right? Desmond Ritter, the UC quarterback, said, hey, it won't be loud there for long. So you've got all that stuff. Two top ten teams, and i got to tell you, with the way college football, the landscape has been, if UC can win this and then win all games that will be favored in the rest of the year, they have a legitimate shot, legitimate shot to make the college football playoff, but – the only way you can do that is if you win in South Bend on Saturday afternoon. Very, very true. I'll be the, heading up for that one as well. So we shall. Look at you! Uh, we, You're going to have to take all next week off and just you know sleep, I you am. old I, man. I've been I've been resting for a couple years, so now I figure <laughs> I can start doing something. All right, all right now, all right. You ready? Bridget's off to a one and four start. Here we go. Bridget's high school Uber. I figure. Take him to a showdown game. And if you think about this, it's not hard. Get me to Ross High School hosting Talawanda tonight in the Skyline Chili Crosstown showdown. How do we get there? Uh, honestly, the best way that I would know is uh, from, let's say, uh, 74. No help, Nick. Okay. I'm going to get on uh, Coleraine Avenue. I mean, it's going to take you a minute. There's probably other ways. But I know that you can take Coleraine exit off of 74 and take that all the way into Ross. Well, you probably want to get a little more specific of all the way into Ross. But <laughs> actually, Nick knows this. Take 275, get off of Coleraine Avenue. It would be much easier to get to that point. I said right? I said there's other that, ways. Well, there's, a, well, yeah, there's always and, other and ways. How about, um, well, there's always and, – and how about a better way? So then when you get off – you head toward Oxford, take the Route 128, Hamilton Ross, get off at the exit there, make a right turn past the Ross Skyline Chili, see Bridget, and yep. then you'll get to Ross High School a little bit more on your left. I mean, I'm that's exactly you, what I said. <laughs> no, not, not exactly. exactly what I said. My, minus the turn right on 128, <laughs> past the skyline. Yeah, right. no, <laughs> exactly no, what I said. <laughs> no, Nick, you just everybody knows how to just head into Ross, yeah. right? <laughs> Hey, if you grew up on I mean, the west side, you know how to get to Ross. I'll give you a half. You're 1.5 and 4.5. That's, not, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Not really I'll it. take it. I'll take it. <laughs> what right. can I say? You're damn right you will because it really wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's all my good, goodness. I, yep, so there you go. At X-Town Showdown, anything and everything you need. Always enjoy this. I mean, this is how I get up on Friday anxiously anticipating this but looks like the weather maybe not the weekend but boy tonight should be good but the temperature looks awesome so yes it does enjoy a great night of high school football absolutely appreciate it Campbell. we'll talk to you next week you got it